Good morning and welcome to worship. This is another special day that the Lord has made. So we may rejoice and be glad in Him. Special welcome to those of you joining us on Facebook. Uh, we are delighted that we are able to join with you in this time of worship as we seek the Lord's favor upon us and upon those we care about. As always, we begin with a form of penitential order by asking God's mercy upon us. If you are able, please stand. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. Amen. Since we have a, high, a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbors. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Spirit, come, fill us to overflowing. Be our guide, Holy Spirit, come. Spirit, show us your power. Be our teacher, Holy Spirit, lead us into all truth. Come. Spirit, be our healer. Heal us, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. O God of peace, you've taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of Scripture. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the, Lord, of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called ox of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We we'll cite together that beautiful Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. 
Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shed at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. If you are able, please stand for the reading of the gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Calling the twelve to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. They went out and preached that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you, O God, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. The readings we just read are the kind of readings that compel us to keep coming. Isaiah prophesies about one who is to come to proclaim good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness to the prisoner, for the prisoners. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. That's perhaps my favorite phrase or sentence in that passage. We know this was about Jesus. Isaiah was prophesying about Jesus. For Jesus, in Luke chapter 4, when he was visiting his village town and went to the synagogue, read this particular passage and claimed that it had been fulfilled in their own eyes. For it was referring to him. He was the one to proclaim good news to the poor to bind the broken-hearted, to proclaim freedom and release to prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. I've said many times now that God is in the business of mending that which is broken. Sometimes it happens so quickly, other times it takes long. As I said last week, sometimes it takes coming and coming and returning and returning and returning. But God, God's desire to mend our brokenness, to bind up our brokenness, is not in dispute. And the fact that he does it, he has done it before and continues to do it even in our time, that's not also in dispute. The issue we always have to deal with is whether this is our time, this is our day. And we believe that it is our time. Whether it is our day, maybe we don't know, but this is the season of the Lord's favor. God is at work mending and binding that which is broken, proclaiming freedom and release from darkness for the prisoners. It is a wonderful 
scripture passage. Of course, Psalm 121 is one that has brought hope to so many who are hopeless and desperate. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? And he receives the answer immediately. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And that is not in dispute. It is true our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. And as I keep saying, Jesus, his work was to teach us, to demonstrate first of all, but then to show us how to continue that work. We are partners with God. St. Paul writing in his letter to the second letter to the Corinthians chapter 6 begins with that phrase that as partners with God we are partners with God we are co-workers with God God has recruited us to work with him when he binds our brokenness he sends us out to bind others. And as we know in this story, there are so many who are broken. They are, they are disciples. These were people who were not successful in many other ways. Some were broken by circumstances of their lives. Others were broken by the human sin. All of them were broken people. And he invited them, and he healed them, and then he sent them two by two to proclaim good news to others who are broken there. And that is what the church is about, inviting all of us who are broken to be healed and touched and refreshed and encouraged, and then go out to encourage others. And notice the things they did. He gave them authority over impure spirits. And they preached that people should repent. Because as I said, I think a few weeks ago, the biggest challenge to us humans is not so much the diseases and all the struggles of life that we deal with but more our relationship with God, our broken relationship with God. When our broken relationship, uh, when we have a broken relationship with God, it affects all of us. It affects our relationship with others. It affects our relationship with ourselves. In fact, it begins to affect our bodies. Some of our diseases sometimes come from our brokenness, our broken relationships with God. And so, but perhaps the most important thing is that when our relationship with God is mended, is healed, when all is well with God, then everything else doesn't scare us. If some of you remember the, the, the song, When Peace Like a River attendeth my way. Uh, I know it more in my vernacular. But he talks about that nothing, even death, will scare him because he is at peace with God. Because our mended relationship with God promises much more than healed bodies. It promises eternal life. And that's why as well as healing the sick and driving out the demons that were oppressing people, the disciples preached the message of repentance, 
of changing, of turning to God. And then they drove out demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. Theirs was what we call a holistic ministry, touching every area of people's lives. And that is exactly what we are about. Anointing people with oil so that we may be healed of our diseases, but perhaps more importantly, preaching repentance, asking God to forgive us of our sins and to restore us to a right relationship with Him, with ourselves, with other people, and with all creation indeed. And that's why it is important for us uh, to always um, seek that mercy and forgiveness even at the beginning. And so this morning, as we have asked God's mercy and been received absolution from the Lord, we can be confident that all is well and that we can look forward with anticipation like the psalmist, that as we lift our eyes to the mountains, our help comes from the Lord, because we are at peace with the Lord. And it's my prayer for all of you out there who are watching us, that even as you approach the Lord for healing of your sickness, that perhaps the most important thing, indeed the most important thing, is to be forgiven of your sin and restored to right relationship with God. For with God on your side, all shall be well. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for reminding us that you care deeply about our whole wholeness, our well-being in totality. And thank you for sending Jesus to proclaim good news to the poor, to proclaim release and freedom to the captives, and to proclaim the year of your favor, O God. And how we pray that this is our year, Lord, that we experience this favor that is available to us in our time, even this morning, Lord that your favor may be showered upon us in new ways, that we may be restored to right relationship with you, forgiven of our sins, Lord, and healed of our diseases. And this is our prayer for all those joining us on Facebook and those who will watch this video and all that we care about, both in our homes, those who are our neighbors, those we care about. We pray especially for this time, Lord, of great illness when there is another surge, Lord, in the COVID infections. We pray most importantly that people will be healed of their brokenness, that there will be right relationship with you and one another, and most importantly, Lord, that they will be granted the gift of eternal life and healed of their diseases. And so we thank you, we bless you, we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. With that confidence in our God's favor, and confident that our help indeed comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers this morning. Janet, Ron, Terry, Jen, Janet, John, Perry, Cesar. Jean, Janet, Charlotte, Pat, Carol, Mary Ellen, Doug, Daniela, Ken, Judy, Frederica, Scott, 
Robert, Kathy, Sarah, Michael, Jeffrey, Jenny, Jack, Linda, Michelle, Tony, Ruth, Perry, Donna, Kim, Ken, Barbara, Michael, Randy, Gary, Sam, Amos, Anna, Yael, Elin, Edith, and others. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Spirit, one God in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships, and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit, those who are bereaved, hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our parish, in our community, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Almighty God, giver of life and health, send your blessing on all who are sick and upon those who minister to them, that all weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This point we invite each one of us to take a moment of silence to speak to the Lord specifically about the conditions, uh, whether they are own or situations or of loved ones, and uh, ask the Lord to touch those particular situations. For those of you who are present who wish to be anointed, you may start the anointing. But if you do that, let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you again for your care about each one of us. And you know all those situations in our own hearts. You know the people we care about. And you know every detail of their situation. And thank you that you care about their wholeness, O oh Lord. How we pray that you extend your hand and touch Lord, those areas of their body that are not well. 
and how we pray that you speak, O Lord, to the situations they are in, that you proclaim their freedom even now. We bring before you particularly those who are facing emotional distress, that you may speak comfort. We bring before you those who are facing addictions, Lord, that you may speak release to them, freedom, Lord. And we pray that you speak to every condition to bring wholeness and restoration. We thank you, Lord. And how we pray that for those of us who are present, Lord, that you fulfill your promise that when we are anointed with holy oil, the prayer of the faithful will heal the sick. And if they have sinned, be forgiven of their sins. May this be the day and the moment of your favor upon us in a special way, Lord. We thank you, we bless you, we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's okay. They don't need to see us. It's okay. Ray, I lay my hands upon you and on behalf of your wife, Jane, and anoint you with holy oil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ, sustain you with his presence. To grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. To drive away all sickness of body and spirit. To heal you and restore you to wholeness and strength. And to grant you victory, which will enable you to continue loving and serving him all the days of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I lay my hands upon you and anoint you with holy oil in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ, sustain you with his presence to grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit drive away all sickness of body and spirit, to renew your strength, and to heal and restore you to wholeness and strength, and to grant you victory, which will enable you to continue loving and serving him all the days of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Gary, I lay my hands upon you and anoint you with the holy oil in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ, sustaining with his presence, to grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit, to drive away all sickness of body and spirit, to renew your strength, and to grant you victory, which will enable you to continue loving and serving him all the days of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. And now may the Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, whom all things in heaven and on earth and under the earth bow and obey. Be now and evermore your defense. 
and make you know that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Thank you. Peace. Peace. Thank you again for coming. And thank you to those of you joining us on Facebook. It's always a delight to be able to join with you in prayer. Walk in love as Christ loved us and offered himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer that may become a spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. Through your goodness we have this one to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands that may become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my sins and cleanse me from my iniquity. We celebrate this Eucharist in thanksgiving to God for all the blessings of our lives, for his promise to heal us and restore us to wholeness and strength, but more so in intercession on our own behalf, on behalf of all those who struggle, all those who yearn for God's favor, that God, this will be the year, this will be the moment of God's favor upon them. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you. Father almighty creator of heaven and earth. For you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. And the night was handed over to suffering and death. Our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when I had given thanks to you, O God, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take it. 
This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memory of our redemption. O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people, the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them. In remembrance that Christ died for you, feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve your body and soul to eternal life. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve your body and soul to eternal life. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve your body and soul to eternal life. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Sheila Bakatapasha Yasala. Hola, Bakatasha. You may be seated.
you are joining us on Facebook, I invite you to join me in this prayer for those who are unable to come to be with us in person. May Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving as I proclaim your resurrection. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Jesus, and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me in this life and in the life to come. Amen. Now, as we together, let us together pray. Gracious Father, we give you praise and thanks for this holy communion of the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the pledge of our redemption. And we pray that it may bring us forgiveness of our sins, strengthen our weakness, and everlasting salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the God, may God the Father bless you. God the Son heal you. God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Thank you.